Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today I'm going to take you through a quick reformer workout. You're going to need one red and one blue spring. You're going to lie onto your back, heels are together onto the foot bar. And I want you to inhale, take a deep belly breath. Exhale, start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage. Peel the tailbone off, lift the hips up to the ceiling. Because it's such a light spring, we're going to work your hamstrings. And I want you to think about drawing your bottom towards your heels as you peel your tailbone off of the carriage. Using your breath, exhaling, imprinting, peeling off. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. You're going to roll yourself down. And again, exhaling, imprinting, peeling the tailbone off, lifting up. Nice. On your next one, I want you to keep the hips up high. With a flat back, you're gonna inhale, come down halfway. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips back up. Inhale, coming down halfway. Exhale, squeezing and lifting. You've got four to go. Don't let that carriage move. Keep it in at the stopper. Two more here. On your next one, keep the hips high. We're now going to exhale, close the knees together, then open them back out. Exhale, close, inhale to open. Four to go. And three. Two more. Last one. Open the knees back out. Lower yourselves down one vertebrae at a time. Well done. You're going to reach back behind you, grab hold of your short loops. Place the hands into the short loops, reach the arms up to the ceiling, have a bit of tension on those straps, and then float the legs into tabletop one at a time. You're going to inhale, reach your right leg over the foot bar, and followed by your left leg. So we're working into our single leg extensions. The lower that you send your legs, the more challenging it is for your lower abdominals, and the higher that you send the legs, it just takes the pressure off. If you want to make the movement more challenging, add your double leg extension so both legs are extending long over the foot bar and then both legs come back into tabletop. Keep the arms nice and still, keep the fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling and the shoulders are drawing down. Belly buttons drawing to your spine using your breath here. Make this next one your last one. Bring your hands all the way down by your side. Allow the elbows to hover off a centimeter or two. You're gonna bend at the elbows and then extend the arms. So you're working into your triceps here. Inhaling to bend, exhaling to extend. The next time that you extend your arms, you can add in your chest lift. So as you extend the arms long, you can scoop up through the head, neck and shoulders, draw your gaze in between your knees and then lower yourselves down. Exhaling, lifting. If you want to add on to this again, you can add in your single leg extensions. So reach your right leg over the foot bar, come back, and then exhale, alternate. Belly buttons drawing to your spine, scooping up that little bit higher. If you want to add on to this again, you can add in your double leg extensions. Exhaling, extending, lifting up, inhaling to lower. On your next one, we're going to come into our hundreds. So start pulsing your arms. You're inhaling through the nose for a count of five, and then exhale through the mouth for five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Continue this all the way up to 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Final 10. Exhale, two, three, four, 100. Well done. You're gonna lower yourself all the way down. Keeping the legs into tabletop, draw your hands all the way down by your side. Flip your palms face towards your hips. You're gonna inhale, open your arms out into a T position. Then exhale, draw the hands down by your side again. If you want to add on to this, you can add in your chest lift. So as you pull your hands down by your side, scoop up through the head, neck and shoulders, draw your gaze in between your knees and then inhale, lower yourselves down. Exhale, lifting, inhale to lower. Nice. If you want to add on to this again, add in your single leg extensions. The lower that you send the legs, the more challenging it is for the lower abdominals and the higher you just take off the pressure. Feel like you're connecting down through the armpits as you pull into your straps. 
the final little bit of this, this is your double leg extensions exhaling and then inhaling on this next one keep yourself lifted you're going to open and close the arms and legs inhaling and then exhaling here so a little bit of a starfish movement using your breath you've got four more here opening and closing for three two keep yourself lifted last one and then lower yourself all the way down place the feet onto the foot bar and then place the long loops onto your shoulder pins grab hold of your shoulder rests place your feet nice and wide onto the foot bar just drop your knees from side to side in whichever direction you're dropping the knees you can look in the opposite direction so you get that full spinal twist nice you're going to come up from there we're changing just to one red spring and you're going to step to the right of your reformer we're going to work into our scooter here so place your left foot up against your shoulder rest, both hands are behind your back, lean your upper body forward. As you exhale, drive out through the left leg, lengthen it all the way and then inhale to bend. Keep the right leg bent and the right leg as still as possible. That way you're gonna to start to work into your supporting leg and you're gonna to start to feel that supporting glute switch on. Belly button's drawing to your spine, shoulders are down. If you want to make it more challenging, as you extend the left leg, reach your left arm long, your right arm's coming back behind you, and then you're alternating. So it's a running arms, keeping that right leg as still as possible. To make it even more challenging, start to lift off your right heel, continue running the arms and the leg at the same time. Exhaling and then inhaling, you've got five more here. And for four, three, two, last one here. Well done. Wrap your hands around the foot bar. Place the left knee onto the carriage and just send the carriage away, getting that deep hip flexor stretch on the left hip. Draw the carriage all the way in. Now you're going to place both knees on the carriage, place both feet up against the shoulder rest, hands wrapped around the foot bar and you're going to come into a plank position. So lifting out of the shoulders, belly buttons drawing to your spine. Start to float your right leg off, keeping the right leg straight, you're now going to bend the knee, rotate to the left elbow and then extend the right leg out long again. Exhaling, rotating, inhale to extend. So start to work through your obliques. You've got three more like this. Exhale, wrapping around for two. Last one here. Lower the leg down. And then you're gonna to swap to the other side. So lift the left leg off, exhale. Bend the left knee, rotate around to the right elbow, and then extend. And for five, finding length. Four. Three more. Two. Last one, lower the leg down, bend the knees and find a child's pose position. So reach your arms out long so you can roll out the wrists in one direction. Coming out of there, we're going to swap to the other side for our scooter. So have your right foot up against the shoulder rest, have a slight bend through your left knee. Both hands behind the back, shoulders are down, you're going to exhale, extend the right leg, inhale to bend. Keeping that left leg as still as possible. Belly button's drawing to your spine, finding length through the right leg, using your breath here. When you're ready, you're gonna to start to add in the running arm. So as you extend the right leg, sweep the right arm forward, left arm goes back. Exhaling and then inhaling here. Five more. To make it even more challenging, let's peel the left heel off, continue with the running arms. Two more, last one here, draw the carriage all the way in, grab hold of the footbar, 
Bring the right knee onto the carriage, send the carriage away so you get that deep hip flexor stretch and release. Draw the carriage all the way in and add on a blue spring here. You're going to step into the well of the reformer and you're going to bend both knees, grab hold of your shoulder rests and we're going to work your lat. So I want you to exhale, pull that carriage up to meet your knees and then inhale to release. Exhaling, pulling, inhale to release. So sticking your bottom out, gaze is about a meter in front. Elbows are drawing in close by the waist, really working through the arms and the back here. Five to go. And four, belly buttons drawing to your spine. Last three. Exhale, draw up for two. Last one here, extend the arms nice and long. You're gonna round through the back. And then I want you to re-stack up nice and tall, one vertebrae at a time. Stepping out of the well now, you're gonna lie onto your back. We'll keep the same springs, one red, one blue. You're gonna lie all the way down. Grab hold of your long loops, place one foot in at a time. And with two straight legs, I want you to float the legs up to the ceiling, then open them out as wide as the foot bar, circle them down and around, connect the feet together and then float them back up towards the ceiling. So just allow your femurs to roll around within the hip socket. Just a couple more in this direction. Now I want you to reverse your circle. So you're gonna reach down through the backs of the legs and then open just as wide as a foot bar, float up towards the ceiling. Two more in this direction. Last one here. Nice, connect the feet together, come down to 45 degrees. Keep the heels together, separate the toes. You're gonna to inhale to bend, exhale to extend. As you extend, I want you to open the legs out wide, draw the heels back together, then bend the knees, and then extend the legs, open out wide, close the legs, bend the knees. So we're starting to work into our froggies and then our inner thighs. The next time that you lengthen your legs, I want you to continue opening and closing here. Five to go. And four, exhale, dragging those heels together. Three more. Use your breath for two. Last one here, close the legs together. Come to parallel with the feet, float them up towards the ceiling. I want you to grab hold of your ropes and really drive the heels up to the ceiling so you get that hamstring stretch and release. Now I want you to open the legs out wide, get your inner thigh stretch and release. You can add in a little rock onto those ropes from side to side. And draw the legs back together. You're gonna to take your feet out of the loops. Place one foot onto the foot bar at a time. Place the long loops onto your shoulder pins. And you guys are all finished. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you again next time.